Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, then welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie and I paint things and unbox things and talk about things related to Warhammer and other tabletop games. Today, I am in preparation mode for Dominion, which is coming out next Saturday. And I've been thinking a lot about my color schemes and what the heck I'm going to do for that box because as you know, well, maybe not as you know, there are a lot of storm casts in that box, which are guys like this. This is one of the Far Striders from this. That's a Underworld's Warband from a while ago. So I'm using him as a practice to test out a method, not necessarily a color scheme. I will be testing out a color scheme, but I'm trying to practice the method. So let me just explain it and then so you can get like on page with my vision and then I will show you how I'm going to attempt to implement this. So I was thinking about it. I've been practicing non-metallic metal. I started another guy. Um, he's here. And I still have a couple more layers to do on him. A couple more highlights and whatever else. But this is like the look of him. But it took me forever to get these blends on the blue parts. It just took so long. So recently I've tried oil painting. And I was thinking what I could then do is do all of the main parts of the armor with the oil paints and then go for non-metallic metal with acrylics because I'm still more comfortable with acrylics for the trim on the shoulder pads, the knee pads, and his little arm thingies. So I'm gonna try that today. I'm gonna try to go in with oil so that I can hopefully expedite the process of getting the big chunks of armor painted. And then after that dries, as you know, oil paints take some time to dry. So after it dries, then I will go back in with acrylics and finish all of the trim. I'm not sure at this point if I'm gonna do the trim non-metallic metal gold or silver. I'll have to see how he looks when I'm done with the armor. All I've done so far is base coat him with, what color was it? Here it is, this color. So, I did that, it's dry, and now I'm just going to take this dark purple over here. Sorry for any background noise, my family is awake right now. Um, okay, so I'm going to just be putting this into all of the deep parts, doing the same exact thing that I would be doing with acrylics, just hopefully doing it quicker. I'm new to army painting, you guys. Like, I as you know, prefer skirmish games. So that's because one of the main reasons is because I just can't have, like I can't handle sitting down and painting something over and over and over and over. And so I really want to commit to the storm casts that come in the Dominion box. So I'm trying to be strategic about how can I get this done quickly without sacrificing too much quality you know so okay I put that on I'm gonna go ahead and do what I just did to all of the deep parts and show you a bit of that and then we'll come back when it's time to put on the highlights and blend those
guys, this is what we have. I went ahead and took some white, put it on all the high parts, and then went ahead and blended it. So that process was really easy. It was really fast. I think this maybe took 10 minutes, I want to say, if that. And I'm getting a lot more comfortable using the oil paints. Obviously, they're a lot more slippery than acrylics. There is a bit of a learning curve. Um, and I, I'm getting more comfortable the more I practice. I think what I might do when this is completely dry is I might go in with an acrylic paint in a darker shade of purple and run it into all of the deepest parts just to bring out that contrast a little bit more but I'm really pleased with the highlights like if you look at the feet I'm happy with the way that that looks and the shoulder pads I'm happy with them but I think once I run a darker purple through the most recessed areas it'll just bring out that contrast a little bit more now my question is and i have about a day or so to think about it while this dries i don't know if i want to do the metal on this silver or gold gold is easier i found but i'm scared if i do gold on the purple it'll look a little bit laker -y. or it could look really nice i don't know i'm think i'm leaning towards silver for this guy so I'm gonna go ahead and let him dry and then I will be back before I start the silver and I'll run you through that process very quickly. This isn't really meant to be a tutorial but I just want to show you guys like what I'm gonna do so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and let him dry and then I will be back when I'm ready to do the metal trim on him. Hey everybody, it is a new day and well let me just show you what happened yesterday. So this is what happened. I decided that I did want to do gold for the trim on everything and then I thought with the gold and the purple it would look too lakery. So I decided to add in some blue and then blend the whole thing out again and then add more white onto the tips. So this is what we're left at. I'm actually pretty happy, especially with the shoulder pads. I think they look really kind of cloudy and pretty. I don't know, I like them a lot. I'm still undecided as to how I feel about the whole thing. We're gonna go ahead and do all of the gold and then see how we feel. So I'm just gonna show you my gold recipe. This is like a combination of, of multiple videos that I've seen and multiple tutorials I've watched and then I kind of took bits and added them together to make my own recipe I guess so the first thing I'm gonna do is I mix charred brown with black brown in a one-to-one -one ratio that is what I have here and I just base coat all of the areas that will be gold with that and then I do another layer smaller surface area of morning brown and then I mix Mornfang brown with this brown, one to one ratio, then do just this brown, and then it's kind of from there, I just keep going up into this heavy gold brown, and then finally yellow. And I'm gonna try something new this time because I saw Squidmar's non-metallic metal video, and he took a very, very bright yellow like this and made a glaze of it and kind of went over to give it like a shine and a pop so I'm gonna try that I haven't tried that yet this will be my first time so I guess I'll go ahead and get started with that and then show you what it looks like after when I've done all of the gold
Let me show you guys where I stopped. I ended up going one shade whiter than I thought, so it was looking a little brassy, so the final thing that I did was a final highlight with ice yellow mixed with a little bit of white. Um, and this is what we've got. So I'm happy with it. I like it. Um, some, some parts I still need to mess with and blend a little bit more and shift the highlight a little bit. Uh, but overall, I like the way that it looks with the purpley color for the main parts of the armor. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this guy. We'll just see. We'll just see what happens, you know? All right. Let me at least go ahead and finish this guy. <laughs> and then I will show you guys how he turns out. All right, guys, here he is. He's actually not quite finished. He's about 95% finished. I have more work to do on his sword and some other little like things on his belt and stuff. But I'm honestly probably gonna walk away at this point because I am literally only painting him to see the way that the colors would look together. And I'm not gonna use him for anything. I have no interest in playing this warband or anything. So yeah, this is the final color scheme that I went with. I have my other guy that I finished as well. He's here. So these are the two color schemes that I'm playing with and thinking about. Please let me know what you guys think, which one you prefer. Uh, I am still as undecided as I was before doing this, to be honest. I'm actually thinking of potentially uh, making each unit in the army a slightly different shade. So it would be purples and blues, but maybe each unit be different and then have non-metallic gold be uh, like for the trim, be the unifier for the whole army. I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think and let me know what color scheme you are going with for your army. If you follow me on Instagram, you can send me pictures or tag me in a comment or whatever. If you have a particular color scheme in mind, I would love to see it. All right, guys, this has been Preparing for Dominion. I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.